Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today I found this uh, framer template. Um, very, very cool framer template. I will have the link uh, to this template in the description below. But basically what I like a lot about this template is that as you scroll down, there's this section right here with the video. And then I just keep on scrolling and then text just pops up, right? And the video stays kind of sticked to the back in a kind of viewport height. Right, so as you change the viewport, it still maintains the, the, the full height of what you're seeing. And as you scroll, there's different text, and eventually the next section comes and kind of goes over this. So this is what I want to be building today in the tutorial to show you guys how to do this. So basically doing this, scroll in, the video stays put in the background, text start coming out with different scroll sections and eventually the next section overlaps it, right? So if this is something interesting for you guys, um, stick around and let's start building. Now, the first thing you wanna start doing is opening a framer file, obviously, and let's bring in different breakpoints. So I have the ta desktop, tablet and phone. Um, by most of, you most of you guys, it's gonna start off with a frame and you just want to add a layout to this like this so that you get this little icon over here so basically we have these three viewports and now what i want to do is i want to just start populating my page with dummy content in this case i'm going to be using compa which has a few great free components to use like this one for example we're going to be using it as a type of dummy content to replace this and then to introduce this and after this specific video that we're going to create this video section we're going to go back and add something else maybe add like some um let's see what else we can add here maybe this section boom so then the video is going to be in between these two sections right we have header horizontal one and header one we're going to call this one start and we're going to call this one finish and I might want a little bit more um, content in the bottom so we can just duplicate this I would say perfect all right so we got our little dummy content here so let's start and and do this video so this video is full width it's full width right and the side the height is set to viewport i guess so because as you can see we're scrolling and then the, the the aspect ratio stays the same right so let's go ahead and build something like that i'm going to go ahead and draw a frame let's Actually, instead of a frame, let's go ahead and insert a video component. So just video and framer gives us by default some nice little, you know, ocean bay looking thing. But we, what we can do is we can search for stock video. So we can go like um, Pexels stock video, go here and we can search for something like office. And most of these are free. We can probably right click and copy video address. And what we do here is we just go over to the right and paste the video address. And now we have this office video that's hosted on Pexels um, in our project. All right, so great. Let's go back to our project here and we can Go like this let's move this a little bit like so and let's put this into its own stack that's going to be called the video stack this is going to be set to fill and this is going to be set to fill and this is not going to be a fixed height it's going to be viewport right and what we want to do already is that we want to set this to a sticky position. Meaning that 
and, and let's make this 100 viewport. So sticky position, meaning that, you know, it sticks. Uh, you, you can scroll through the section. So right now, if we go like this, you can, you can see that it's, 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 it's kind of sticky, right? And in order to do that, you got to set the um, parent stacks to overflow visible, right? And usually by default, it's set to overflow hidden. So it's going to look like this by default. But once you put that overflow visible, it's going to work like this. So this is this is fine. We got this going well. I even think that it shouldn't be set to viewport height. I think it should be um, a fixed height, and I think it should be. Let's just try something like this, and I want to see how. Okay, no. Let's make it to viewport because with viewport you can see the whole stuff. But then we want the stack to be, so we want the stack to be set to a fixed height and we want the video to be set to a viewport. And we want this to st start at the top and we want this content to be, let's say like so. So if I press play, there's a little bit more room for scrolling. Even have to, I would even go further and make this around 2000. Now you can see that there's more room for scroll. Now, okay. Now at the end of this animation, these these uh, sections go on the top, right? And as you can see here, if I press play and I scroll to the bottom, you see that there's like buttons underneath and I want this to go on the top. So basically these should all, I, I duplicated it two more times and these should all have a fill exactly. And we should also add a Z index that is higher. Maybe let's put two. And for this one, we also want a Z index. So here we're gonna add the Z index, like I said. And for this video, we can just go like this and Z index, we can put it to zero. And then we want to add the different texts, right? So we have one text that's gonna pop out once this is in the middle. So we can put this view, this, uh, scroll set we can add a scroll section to this video we can call it video and then what we can do is we can add another scroll section somewhere after the video and let's color it like a like a pink and put it after this and let's make sure that this is going like this putting this to the start right let's make this fill And I would even go far as to say that this is sticky and 100. And this is not sticky. Let's see how this looks like. Yeah, perfect. Just like that. So this would be the first viewport. This would be the second one. And this is not viewport, sorry, section. And we have section two. Boom. And let's just change the color here to make, to make it like a gray so that it looks nicer. And section one, section two, and then we can go ahead and plant these texts. So we can put a text like so. We could just, you know, actually duplicate this, make this white, and make it center line. Sorry, I'm just checking the other screen. Make it center line, put it in here, which is basically in here. And we want to put it in the same stack as this video. 
maybe making this hold on let me think how we do this maybe making this absolute i'm just guessing here and obviously this has a higher z index than the video this one should have a two and these should have three Then you can already start seeing this kind of showing up. And what we can do is we can just duplicate this. This one can be build sites effortlessly, and this one can be construct websites here on speed. Boom. And so we have the first one. And it's going to be a have an effect of scroll transform on section and view viewport is the video from zero opacity and let's get it from the bottom by 20 2 1 1 perfect and then add section and then here we put and we put opacity zero so section two and then this one would be uh, where is it effects scroll transform on the section view, this one number two from zero one and offset was what 20. And then we can put, and then we can just leave it like that. So, okay, and let's see how this looks like. from this to this I want to remove this so this is a component by the way because the text is like going upwards so we're not going to do it like this actually we're going to remove this transform and let's give this a component so let's add a stack to this and let's put the stack as a component so create component text create let's give this a fixed height and then what we want to do is we want to make this go downwards perfect and i don't know where the other one is Let's make this all relative and relative. And let's set this to start. Perfect. And this is build your sites effortlessly. And then variant two would be end. And it would be um, construct at full speed every day so now what we can do is we can set this to absolute put this up here put this in the middle and then we can do that change so effects um section of view um video this one so I didn't bottom 
from 0 to 1. Let's see how this looks like. Okay, and I don't want any... They have that little jump effect. Spring, yeah, let's remove the bounce. Perfect. And bounce is gone. Great. Okay, and then we do a change, which is effect scroll variant section view section would be number two set to variant two and i guess we have to make variant two a little bit smaller well not variant two sorry this one has to be smaller Okay, no, it's not working. Okay, now it's starting to work. Maybe we gotta get this one sticky. Sticky. All right, let's see. Okay, that one's working. Now let's just make this a little bit larger. That, now it's better. Now, now we're talking. So let's just create a larger space here. Build sites effortlessly. Construct at full speed every day. Boom. And then comes the next section. Amazing. And then for this, we have this really nice, you know, thing here what we can do is we can add that on the left top left and top right which is that mm -hmm. radius right so we can do top left maybe 50 and top right 50 and then we'll have that nice little curvature i guess let's see yeah perfect yeah and that's basically how you would do it right you can see it has like the same type of little effect it's a little bit slower we can you know you can obviously adjust that um that effect under the variant make it a little bit slower by doing the transition to be maybe 0.7 or something so it's a little bit smoother you see but this is basically how you would do that little scroll effect. So yeah, that's basically it. Today was a quicker tutorial than usual. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and I will have the remix link to this project in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye-bye.